Hello everyone, it's Jack from Visual Effects. So today we're just going to look at another new product. So this is just 3D really dense volumes. So to add a little bit of thick haze to your scenes. Um, so this pack includes 16 volumes. Uh, some are more useful than others, but we'll just give them you all, see what you, what you do. Uh, so this product can be downloaded from the Visual Effects Hut store and equally if you're a part of the unlimited library you can download this as long as you've got an active membership for free. What we're going to do is we just want to add this volume to our scene so we're using the scene that we did from our last video the digital nature scene just to keep it all going so we can have this as like a few parts um, so we want to open our octane again And we want to create a VDB volume. I'm going to turn, I'm going to group all the trees because we didn't do that. Turn them off for now, just because it will save render time. And then in VDB volume, I'm going to bring in one of ours um, from the 3D Haze product. So I'll bring in number 13. We don't want to hit the calculate button because it's not an animation, these are just thick fogs. So we'll blow this up. And we'll turn it 90 degrees. We might need to spin it around the other way, let's have a look first. So we'll just send this to the render engine and obviously path tracing works a lot better. So as you can see we've got that really thick dense volume there so I actually want so you've got the option really to either have this really dense squared looking bit at the top or the bottom so if you put it at the top it'll kind of act like neutral density for the sky so it'll really darken the sky a bit and give you this more textured center um, but for this example first I am going to just sink that bit into the ground and as it's going to be fairly light it doesn't matter if you do want to stretch it a little bit it really doesn't matter really for this sort of thing make it a bit taller to make it probably a bit darker okay so now we're about here, we want to just jump into our main camera to actually see what's happening. So it's super dense. So that's unusable. So we want to come out. And we just want to go into our medium settings, into the volume, and actually start changing some of these settings. So make it less dense. Change the volume step. So as we can see, it's a bit different to the normal fog. Yes, it takes an absolute pain to render, but we're getting a lot more variation and I suppose a more realistic looking fall off as well, which is really nice. I still believe that is probably a little bit too strong for what we want to achieve here. So we'll go to point one and see what that does getting some of that colour back maybe make that 16 maybe make that 0 0.021 so you're getting just that little bit at the back which is quite nice yeah I'm quite happy with that so what I love about this as well is Rather than loading a massive VDB sequence that's got to be loaded into memory, what you can do is you can just animate this as well over time. So you could literally set one keyframe, set another one at 90, and just move that haze. So now we'll have the haze moving over time as well. So that's another cool little thing you can do with this. But let's just go back to our image. And let's just see what happens when it's poking through the trees because this is um, it's obviously going to be colliding with objects. So 
So as you can see, it's adding that lovely little bit of realism, popping around and cutting through these objects, creating that little sense of depth. Um, so hopefully you found this new product useful and hopefully do use it in your scenes because it is pretty cool and I don't know it just feels a little bit more fun than the, the standard volume so yep yeah, catch you in the next one